have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Morrowind. My name is Z, but my character's name is going to be Mazi. You, it's up to you to figure out what her race is going to be by the time I get to that point in this video. I've literally recorded this four times now, but hopefully the audio actually comes through right and it's not in FLV format, so we can actually continue with this one. Okay. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Here he comes. Here he comes. Quiet. Ah! Here comes the car. This is where you get off. Come with me. <laughs> uh, I'm so sick of this part of the game. I've made it all the way to Balmora, but problems. Ugh. So, I've never played Morrowind. It's about 15 years old. It's going to be next year. And uh, I got started by playing Skyrim. So I thought I would go back and play a classic. Yes, as yes. Civil as possible. I would go back and play a more classical uh, RPG. I, I like classic RPGs. It's just that sometimes this is where they want you. Clunky. Head down to the dock, and I'll show you to the census office. And so I have a couple of mods on because I got to Balmora and I realized there were some things I didn't like. So you finally couple. arrived, but our records don't show from where. Yep. Um, I'm not 100% sure, honestly, whether one of them worked or not. Is this working? There we go. Okay, I don't know if this will follow. That looks like a woman, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use one of these races, and I am an Argonian. But it's hard to tell with the... Uh, Argonians, whether it's male or, fem uh, male or female Argonian, so that's why I went to a different race first. Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, the, uh, the, Christ, the clicking is not great sometimes. But here we go. All right, here we go. Mazi. Mazi is a hardened criminal. Let's be real. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Alright. I don't really mind graphics so much, but clunky, um, like, reading and controls can be really, really upsetting. I really wish I could open this and just leave. <laughs> I just want to hop the fence and go, but you can't even jump yet. I'm pressing E many times over. One great thing is that the loading time is super quick. It's awesome. Alright. Hello, so Cushis uh, are gone. Yes, ah, we've been yes, expecting you. you. Uh, you'll have, have to be, to be recorded, recorded before you're officially video. released. I hate this there are a few ways so we much. can do this, and the choice is yours. I feel like I should really generate my class, but I'm going to fill the forms out myself. Because, whatever. That's fine. I've done this many times before, so I know what all my major skills are at this point. I don't care if they make no sense with an Argonian. It's fun. That's actually partially why I chose an Argonian. The other reason was because, as you uh, might know in, from Skyrim, um, Argonians were... Sorry, I got something in my throat here. 
as you might know from Skyrim, the Argonians Very good. were Very The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain the sign. Species of Morrowind. And what would that I be? I don't know if that's happened yet, since this is several hundred years in the future. Alright, you see the apprentice? That's awesome. That's not awesome. So, whatever. Good enough. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Alright, and you can go back and change any of this if you've never played before. It's pretty great. So, yep. Oh, I have spells already? How do I equip those? I'm gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I have no idea how the controls work. I completely forgot to look at it. Because I'm a genius. Alright. Ready. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Alright. And there we go. This is the third era. Skyrim, if you've never played, starts in the fourth era. Which eras are determined by cool things happening. Maybe not cool, but like the Oblivion Crisis or something like that started the fourth era. I've never played Oblivion either. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. You can yell at me in the comments all you like. It's not going to change the fact that I didn't hear the Elder Scrolls until Skyrim. But, yeah. We're in the Third Era, which is before the death of Uriel Septum. At the start of the Oblivion Crisis? Or the end? I'm not sure. Okay. Fun fact. They won't arrest you. Or even give you a bounty in this area. <laughs> Guards! So you can take absolutely everything. And if you do it quickly, then uh, the guard won't stop you. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I have a, I have an interface mod. Continue oh, through to the next building and talk to Celestrabius. Just a second, I've got some stuff to get. You've stolen for the last time. <sighs> and I might have uh, stretched the You've window. For the last time. Too huge. So. You've stolen for the last time. I'm sorry. I'm kind of a disjointed speaker. You've stolen for the last time. I'm trying to get all those as quickly as for a fool. <laughs> yes, I do. You've stolen for the last this is the time. Best. You've stolen for the last time. You could never do this in Skyrim. You've made your last mistake, thief. You take me I like that he just fool. keeps screaming. Guard! So, I decided that this is why I was arrested in the Imperial City. So, I am a filthy Argonian thief. You know, those are going You've man. stolen for the last time. You've made your last mistake, thief. <laughs> You've made your last mistake, well, I'm, thief. I'm almost done. <laughs> you there! This is great. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, you have to really finagle this because so cute. You right there! there. You've stolen for the last time. <laughs> I like that you can take the quill. You've stolen for the last you're time. Doing. Hello. What do you need? Go there. All right. There's some more stuff down here. Naturally, we need a bucket so that we can steal things. I don't think it actually works that way. I don't know if there's any physics at all in this game. Oh, sweet. These were empty the last time I looked. <sighs> they really shouldn't leave all this stuff in here. They're just asking to get robbed. That's not true. Never use that argument. It's a horrible argument. <laughs> Alright, some of this stuff you're supposed to take. But we're not gonna do that yet. You know what? I totally forgot. I'm still going to turn down 
This volume, where is it? It's under audio, duh. Because it's really, really loud. Oh my goodness. It's very loud. Okay. The Firmament. That's a book in Skyrim, for those of you who don't know. I don't know if it gives the same information. The loot in each of these containers is a little bit different every time you play, so I never know what I'm gonna get. <laughs> Hriskar. I feel like Hriskar is somebody I've met. met. Good, good, good job, me. Met before. But I don't think so. I wouldn't imagine so, since Hriskar would be long dead unless Hriskar is an elf. As long as he's not an Orsimer, or she, I guess. Why am I on the table? Oh no. No! Okay. What the hell? <laughs> nope, I don't want that. There's a lot of paper just lying around. I assume we can come back in here once I'm higher level in like lock picking and stuff. And get the rest of the things. I'm going to see if I can equip my spells yet. I don't know how to do it. As you might notice if you've played Morrowind before, this is a slightly differently styled uh, menu because menus are confusing. Alright, I don't know how... I will probably have to figure out how to do this after I've... Uh, I'm gonna get to... It's... Uh, I can't remember the name of the town now, but I'm gonna get there, and it's... yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm... what the hell? Okay, I see. Interesting. And I can take all this. You're actually supposed to wear that. I don't know how to use it. But... here we go. Yeah. I think it might be a menu that you have to open special- there! It didn't exist before. I don't remember seeing this menu ever. There we go. That explains a lot. Restore health, fire bites. Hmm, chameleon. Fire bites. Is it... I don't know how to... We'll assume that that did it. Yeah, okay. I figured More it out, paper, finally. I'm, I'm super dumb. Where is he? There he is. Hello, Solus. You'll be able to read all this because now it's big and you can actually see it. And they don't speak, so that sucks. I'll come back and talk to this guy later. I just don't really feel like it right now. I would ask him about Uriel, but I know about Uriel. Okay. Goodbye. I never looked at this. This reminds me of Journal of the Dragonborn, which by the way is one of the best mods in the world. Despite being super simple, it's great. So, I'm going to go sell all my crap to this guy in here. I, I don't remember his name. A real? Was that his name? Yes. Something like that. Nobody says their names in this game. So, it's hard to know. Alright. I'm going to sell this dagger because I don't need it. To sell these shoes because I can't wear them. I'm gonna keep the bread. I'm gonna give him all of this stuff because I don't think it's food. I think it's just ingredients. Oh, that might have been food. Yeah. That doesn't sound good. 
Drain intelligence? Dear god. Netch leather. Drain speed. A lot of these are drain. I'm gonna hold on to the restore things. The firmament. Can use that lockpick later. Really, I could use the candlesticks for, uh... I'll keep one of them. <laughs> it's just great that they take all these stolen items when logically they really shouldn't. You can make bank in that first room. Don't try this at home, kids. Petty soul gem. I'll hold on to that. Oops. Silver? I legitimately don't know if you're supposed to do that. Or not. Probably not. But I don't care. Matza? Or Matsi? Mazda. Masti. I don't know. Alright. Anything else? I think that's it. Okay. Thank you. I made some gold. I don't need can any of the scrolls. Can we hurry this a lot? Yes. We can. And... We're off to Balmora. I remember the name of the town. There we go. I have a mod that's supposed to make these. Yeah! Now it actually tells you where you're going. Because in vanilla, there's no words on there. You just have to get your mouse over the right one. Which really sucks because the uh see I can't the calibration is not great. So I talked to this lady in one of my earlier playthroughs, and she told me about Silt Striders. I know that Silt Striders exist because of the Dragonborn DLC, but I didn't know that uh, yeah it's gonna do that every time it loads stuff in I'm sorry can't help it yay I got a mod because <laughs> I didn't like the way that you picked things um, she told me that silt striders are controlled by hollowing out their uh, chitin and touching their organs what in the world Dunmer I assume it's probably Dunmer ideas. I don't know. Maybe it was a uh, an Imperial idea, but they really only exist around here. So, I assume it was the Dunmer. What the heck? Alright. I don't know how to crouch. Oh shit. Um, okay, here we go. Did it work? Shit. I failed! Alright, we're gonna try this. Oh, there it goes! I don't think I'm hitting it. I kinda suck at this. I'm gonna run out of Magicka. And I think you have to rest to get your Magicka back. Oh, I hit it once. Alright, bye. Yeah, I'm really running out of magicka here. I'm pretty sure that this is D&D &D style magicka. Where you have to take a rest in order to restore it. I don't think this is working. Is it dead? Oh, it's dead. Okay. Shoot. Well, now I'm really screwed for later. I'm pretty sure that magic it doesn't restore. I really like the weird atmosphere. Like, not atmosphere, but the weird, the different environment of Morrowind. It doesn't look so much like a traditional high fantasy, which can get really boring after a while. But I do. I don't know if the volcano erupts during this game or after, but I would really like to, like, 
I really like the way that it looks on the island in the Dragonborn DLC. I don't remember the name of the island, but I really like that because it makes it look so eerie and so different from the rest of Skyrim and the rest of Tamriel, I would assume. I've never been to the rest of Tamriel, but I assume the Imperial, the, um, wow. Why can't I remember the name of the Imperial Province? Oh well. I assume that the Land of Oblivion, which is not Oblivion because Oblivion is a plain where the uh, Dramora? That doesn't sound like the right word. Daedra. Daedra and Dramora and all them. See, I'm much more interested in picking things now that uh, I don't have to pick them like a container. That was a huge annoyance to me. Yeah, I really need to go rest in Pelagiat now. Oh, this uh, caps lock is really draining my stamina. That's great. That is not... I think this one is the... Uh, what the frick? You like to dance close to the fire, don't you? Sorry. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I should have plenty of gold to get a room at the tavern. Plenty. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Move. There we go. There's someone watching me. I can tell. Congrats. Food and beds are both at the same time. Heh <laughs> heh, your choice. Heh <laughs> heh. Okay. Oh wait. Yeah, I don't need food right now. Ten gold. Heck yeah. I have a Skyrim mod that, uh, makes the rent in most of the place, in most of the inns, much, much more expensive. It's like a hundred gold. So ten gold, that's great. It's a good, that's a steal. That is yours at the end of the hall upstairs, you'll find it unlocked. Okay. Now you're not gonna lead me to Go it? Go ahead. You're a whore upstairs, he said. Or she. I'm not sure. There we go. Is that a Khajiit? That's a I Khajiit. Really don't have time Khajiit for this, so make has it no quick. time for you. Are you the same voice actor? <sighs> the... Sweet moon sugar. That sounds like one of the same voice actors for the Khajiit in Skyrim. I don't remember which room he told me. Not that one. There it is. Nope. <sighs> Might be. Must be this one. Okay. Until healed. Alright. Got all my magicka back. I can continue to Balmora. If only the door would open. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Alright. I'll come back and talk to these people later. I just really want to get to Balmora and complete my mission. I'm completely lost in this tiny little, tiny little inn. No, it's night. That's good. Oh well. Nothing bad could possibly happen at night. Any time now. All right. There's Balmora. I know there's a skeever, which is called a rat in this game, that's further down the path. <laughs> My uh, slightly younger brother played this once. He got as far as that skeever, then he tried to fight it, and he quit because he died. He's really more of a newer game sort of person, though. But, yeah, this has gotta be it. I grew- we both grew up on, like, Nancy Drew, which are great games, by the way, and that sort of thing, but since I didn't ever buy myself an Xbox or anything, I, uh, 
have really gotten more into older games, which makes me much more likely to enjoy this than somebody who always plays the latest version of GTA, which is a fun game, but it's not the same. I remember her. You really shouldn't be standing out here at night, ma'am. I'll talk to you later. How does the day greet you, friend? Well, it's night, so fine, I guess. There's the second moon of Tamriel. Do you think Tamriel is an alien planet or just another realm of existence? These plants are pretty. I want some. Yeah, okay. Eventually, I'm gonna learn how to do combat in this game, and I'm gonna be a badass. But until then... no. Oh. Hmm. I really like that the Aurora still exists here. Although, it made more sense in Skyrim. Because, you know, Skyrim is the... I guess Morrowind is really, uh... Along the same latitude as Skyrim would be. Alright. I'll stop running. Gee. There we go. <laughs> My caps lock is now confused. I did this to Skyrim too. Uh... Crap. I think that's the way. Yeah, there it is. This might not be the way. I might be getting really, really lost. We go. <laughs> All right. I feel much more uh, capable now that I have figured out how to fight and how to use my magic. Because I was just using a dagger. That sucked. Okay, yeah, I'm going the right way. It's very pretty at night. I don't usually walk around Skyrim at night because I, uh, I play role plays. So, usually I'm in bed by night. But I'd like to play, like, a vampire or something at some point. Because Skyrim is gorgeous at night. But it just doesn't make sense for my characters to be around in the middle of the night, just hanging out. Alright, I believe this is Balmor- no? What is this? This is... Moon Moth Legion Fort. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with these guys. <laughs> I learned my lesson from the Civil War in Skyrim. West Gash Reason. Balmora, that way. It is very dark. What? Hmm. I know this is a, basically like Lord of the Rings walk here for this episode, but hopefully for the next episode it'll be a little more exciting. Now, yeah, there's Balmora, right? Yes. Okay. The reason that I walk everywhere in the beginning is because I want to kind of learn the lay of the land. And I didn't do that in Skyrim the first time I played. So by the time I was really uh, getting into the game, I had no idea where I was at any given point. So hopefully by walking around and not just taking silt striders everywhere, I will eventually learn how to get around in this area. Clagus Clanler Outfitter. I have no idea where the inn is in this area. 
That's still the outfitter. Trader? Okay. Maybe this is it. Armor? Nope. Fighter's Guild? Oh hey, it's the Companions! Not really. Bookseller? That's good. That's where I can get spells. Oh my goodness, my nose. <sighs> I mean, it's gotta be in here somewhere. Is that it? I probably should have paid attention to the one in Pelagiad. House Lalu. Oh no! No! I don't want anywhere near House Lalu. <laughs> House Lalu are crazy. Alchemist. Clothier. Oh good, it's not solitude. You have to go so far to get clothes in Skyrim. <sighs> Alright, well, I made it to Balmora and it's probably been well over half an hour at this point. So thank you so much for watching Let's Play Morrowind, I'm Z, and I hope that you come back for more and we get to have some great adventures together in this really weird kingdom. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.